open the part planar mill dot part from the folder part and uh, in the first session we have done till engage now we will take forward to retract and start and pre till points select the operation right click it click on edit and go to non cutting moves and you have uh, retract here as I mentioned we have two uh, variables here one is retract and final retract there is a drop down menu under retract type and we have so many options here the linear linear relativity could cut arc point linear along vector angle angle plane vector plane and none all these things we have uh, dealt in engage and uh, so I'm not going to repeat it one by one I'll be only dealing with lift under lift we are going to define the height of the tool movement after all the cutting portion uh, after all the cutting is done at the last point it just move upside the upside in Z direction and we are going to define how much it is going to lift so you can use either unit or percentage of tool better we'll use uh, some value that uh, as height so after the all the after each cutting uh, movement and it's it will be lifting at the end of that cutting movement 30 mm and it goes to the next cutting line so in final that is the last cutter movement after it finish all the cuttings so here it's same as the retract type and engage type we have we can either opt for same as retract same as initial engage or we, we have seen how to define the values for linear linear related to cut arc point lift linear along vector angle angle plane vector plane none so you can use any one of it based on your requirement I'm selecting same as retract next we'll go to start and drill points under start and drill points we have something called op overlap distance as I explained in the slides this is particular distance uh, that is use uh, like we have an entry point and there will be when when the tool engages the material there will be slight vibration and based on the rigidity of the machine s in some cases a slight projection is material is left over in the form of a small projection and if you remove take the cutter at the same point the that particular point will be having a, a projection that is clearly visible and we can feel when you touch it so to avoid that we'll, you, we'll go for overlap distance and you can specify this distance here next is region start point but in uh, phase milling you don't use uh, this overlap distance next is uh, selecting the start points you can select under default region start point we have something called midpoint and the corner so on, on the slide I have shown how a midpoint is selected and how a corner point is selected we don't have flexibility to select uh, which midpoint it, it randomly uh, selects a midpoint of the boundary or a corner of the boundary and if you want to specify a cer certain starting points we can use the point selection method a different point selection method to define those points and as I mentioned earlier in the previous slides if 
these points fall within the effective distance the software considers those points and if these points falls beyond the uh, effective distance it the software neglects it and consider automatically defines a starting point suiting the cutting operation next is pre drill operation a pre drill points so here again if you know the coordinates of uh, uh, a a pre drill hole you can mention that you you can select those points or you can create those points on that particular coordinate and use that particular point to plunge so that when plunging happens there won't be much load on the cutter and effective distance is same that concept is same for all the other cutting operation and after you define in next session i'll be dealing with transfer avoidance and more save the file